The big idea is a broad theme, a concept, a problem or a situation that is contemporary and important on a global scale, or at least for a given community. In other words, something that is quite complex and there's, that can be explored in many ways through different lenses and disciplines. Big ideas can be identified by the instructor or by a stakeholder, such as a company, an NGO or others. They can be related to a current problematic faced by this stakeholder, to social issues, etc. Here are some examples of big ideas. Human relations, such as emotions and conflicts. Identities, such as gender or ethnic relations, LGBTQI plus issues, etc. Sustainability of energies like oil, gas, water, electricity, but also sustainability of food, air, or else. Artificial intelligence and metaverse, and their impact on our societies. Work efficiency and time management. Health and the impact of the pandemics on social inequalities, on mental and physical health, threats on democracies, etc. How can we find big ideas and where do we find big ideas? Well, actually, our societies are full of potential big ideas. Reading articles and reports, discussing with companies, with NGOs or citizens, listening to current debates, each of these actions will help you identify big ideas. It does not necessarily have to be disrupting ideas, but it must be perceived as relevant to students and their communities. The adequation between student interest and the big ideas facilitate their engagement into the adventure, as it creates a certain urgency to identify and develop solutions to solve the challenge. Do not hesitate to give students some time to brainstorm individually on this big idea. What does it mean to them? What are the main ideas and concepts related to the big idea? Why is this idea important to them or the community, etc.? They can do it manually or use tools to order their ideas, such as mind maps, for example. Several tools are easily accessible online, such as Jamboard, Miro, XMind, Padlet, or others. They can also decide to use pictures to illustrate the way they perceive the big idea. Like in art therapy, uh, using pictures and photos is an interesting way to metaphorize students' understanding of the big idea. And as a teacher, you can either pre-select a set of generic photos or ask your students to find one themselves on the internet. Of course, these are just examples. Feel free to use the technique you want to make your students individually brainstorm about the big idea. Whatever the technique selected, make sure that students have enough time to reflect upon the topic and eventually collect the data required to move to the second stage, the identification of the essential question.